Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial here on the Nice Star channel. Last time we learned how to turn a GPG map into a 3D model without using AutoCAD or DXF files. Today we will learn how to use a DXF or AutoCAD file and turn it into a 3D model. Before that, like the video and share it with your friends. Now let's jump in. So first, let's import our file. Go to file menu and click on import. As you can see here, we have two type of uh, file, DWG and DXF. And no different which one you use, they are the same. Let me use DXF file, click on import. So in this session, we will use FaceApp plugin. It's a free plugin. You can find it on our website for free. I have shared its link in the description. First, let me separate the staircase from the walls, select them and make them group. And also we can hide that. Go to inside of the group, select all of the map and use face up plugin with the first option we can make it face just click on it like this now let me take a copy of the surface a clear distance 1500 and delete that from here now just it's enough to select all and again use face up login with the second option extruder just click on it now just type hide off the unit for example 250 enter again enter like this as you can see it's so easy so now let me scale here. What a fantastic thing about this plugin is that it makes every part as a single group. Here, here, here. It's so amazing. So now let me move it back now we can extrude it and also make it curve so what about creating opening for the windows let me tell you what is the easiest and quickest way to create opening for the window so the first method is use tape measure and determine determine height of the window 60 here 150 like this now select this shape use push pull tool and extrude it up to here then select that again and Take a copy of that and move it up to here. Again, use push pull tool and extrude it up to here. Like this, we can create the opening like this. This was the first method. And the second method, what's that? Just select this shape and use a scale tool. Scale it up to here now take a copy of that up to here again a skillet like this and if we can and do it one by one by hand it's waste of our time so what should we do it's better to select select all of them for example this one this one this one 
and this one now again use a scale tool up to here take a copy of that up to here again a scale that like this and if you want to have all of them as a single group you can use solid tools select all and with union option you can make all of them as a single group like this so guys as you can see our work is done i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials please subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.